The potential legal risk of recommencing professional sport in a pandemic ravaged world. As Australia begins to lift lockdown restrictions, attention has turned to the question of when professional and communal sport will be permitted to return, including the resumption of the AFL and NRL competition. However, an email from the English Premier League doctor group has shed light on the potential legal issues associated with lifting restriction over professional and communal sport. On 5 May 2020, sport website The Athletic published an email from the Premier League Doctors Group, PLDG, that sought urgent answer over multiple COVID-19 concerns that had allegedly not been addressed in relation to the proposed resumption of the English Premier League football competition in England. The issues that hadn't been addressed included approving guidelines that still carry a risk of death, liability, insurance and testing for players, staff and their families, possible transmission via sweat and goalkeeper gloves, suspicion that some clubs are already ignoring guidelines, and ability of emergency services to attend training ground incident. Of course, there are a multitude of financial incentives for the English Premier League competition to resume, including ensuring clubs receive the majority of funds owed to them under the Premier League's lucrative television right deal. There are also benefits to national morale in having professional sporting competition, such as the Premier League resume even in empty stadium. Admittedly, no football fan is excited at the prospect of an empty neutral stadium playing host to Liverpool finally lifting the Premier League trophy for the first time, nor fans missing the farewell of a raft of famous players due to retire such as David Silva, arguably the greatest midfielder in the Premier League history. But the argument from politicians, commentators, and sporting administrators is that sport in empty stadium is preferable to no sport at all and will still play a vital role in lifting national morale. However, the PLDG seem adamant that this benefit do not outweigh the risk it has outlined and that the Premier League should not resume until the risk it has identified have been addressed. Indeed, the PLTG predicted risk appear to have already come to fruition after Germany's plan for competitive football to resume on 16 May 2020 were derailed by the two players from Dynamo Dresden testing positive to COVID-19, meaning their entire squad was placed into a two-week quarantine. Implication for professional sport in Australia The points raised by the PLTG are likely to be of concern to those responsible for deciding when professional sporting competition return in Australia. Firstly, the fact that coronavirus had been suppressed but not eliminated means that any guidelines that are approved for the AFL, NRL, and other competition are necessarily ones that do carry what the PLDG email described as a risk of death. The concern raised by the PLDG certainly put decision makers responsible for the return of the English Premier League and notice about the risk outlined in the email. And it seemed likely that sport doctors in Australia would be providing similar advice to the AFL, NRL, and administrators of other professional competition about similar risks. Additionally, the issue of liability and insurance of all players, families, and staff is also of particular relevance in Australia. It is unclear if existing insurance arrangement will provide cover in circumstances where the effects of COVID-19 are widely known, and there are clear and obvious risks with resuming sporting competition before the virus has been eliminated in Australia or a vaccine become available. 
in circumstances where competitions such as the AFL and NRL are keen to resume prior to elimination or the availability of vaccine, then it may be that existing legal and insurance arrangements need to be reviewed and amended to provide comfort to players and their families. This would include personal accident cover and income protection insurance for professional athletes. Thank you.